الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Alishan Mal here and this is gonna be the maiden flight for the Spirit 600 mini or micro FPV wing. At the moment I prepared the plane with 30 amp ESC. <laughs> I know this is an overkill but what can I do? I just had those 30 amp ESCs. However as you can see they fit perfectly inside and my battery 7.4 volt 1000 milliamp is again an overkill for this plane but it fits right i believe it will be running nose heavy so i'm not sure how it's gonna behave let's try to fly it first and let's see if it flies and after that we will worry about doing fpv on spirit 600. okay let's check the mixing first up down left right all good and motor now the story for the motor is I couldn't find 2600 kV or 3000 kV so I put a Cobra 2100 kV motor well baby will you fly let's find out this is my throwing area in the Sun fortunately today the wind is coming from that side Okay, wait a moment. I need to control elevator immediately. So I'm just gonna put the trim up. Right in the sun as I expected. Okay, flies nice. At least it's flying. CG seems to be very nice. Speed is not that much because we are running 7.4 volt battery and only 2100 kV motor. It seems like it's affected by wind a lot. Hmm. Uh oh, uh oh. The trims have to be centered a lot because of the torque roll, the plane is greatly affected. So when I pull the throttle down, it's fine. But as I increase the full throttle, plane tends to roll right because of the motor rotation direction and that torque roll. Apart from that, it's flying pretty nice. I can probably clear some gates as well with this one. Ah, the dreaded torque roll. And aerobatics. <laughs> roll and loops. Seems like that little fiberglass uh, strengthening bar is doing its job properly the wings I don't see wings flexing actually or flapping so it's not the kind of flappy flappy bird nice fun plane to fly man Yeah, I'm trying to clear some gates. <laughs> oh, that was bad. That was my mistake. Seems like it did not. Yeah, didn't. All right. We're going to throw it again. That was nice. Easy throw. Guess I'm getting the hang of it now. Now, I'm not trying to clear the gate. I'm just flying low altitude and having fun. I got one more battery, so I'm not worried. I can try FPV right after that. 
I can try FPV right after this flight. Are you trying to crash again? Man, I'm flying really dangerous today. <laughs> Sweet! Flight times are nice. <laughs> it's a plane with a single motor, man. Look! I'm getting better now. Check out the lonely guy having fun in the desert with Spirit 600. <laughs> That's lots of fun, man, actually. But with the full throttle, torque roll is a real issue on this one. Because it's really, really lightweight. That's why. All right, how do I land it? in my hands. I have no idea. Can I do it? I don't know. I killed my camera actually. <laughs> oh, almost missed the gate. That could have been lethal. <laughs> almost got it. Almost got it. It's not that heavy, actually. Again, almost got it. Okay, not bad. We'll keep on trying until we get it in the hand. Yes! <laughs> I got it, man! You just have to grab it hard. Awesome. All right, let's set up FPV on it then, shall we? had some good flights, line of sight was lots of fun, FPV was fun on this plane, but it's not a quadcopter, it has to go around and turn. And the FPV system is a kind of Asian TX-01, so it's not that clear, TX-03 are much more clear with the cameras they have now, so I was having trouble, but still I was trying to go through that gate and I tried over and over again, finally I was managed to align. Finally, I managed to align the plane to the gate, but uh, what can you say? The gate cheated. It moved too fast to the left or right that I had no chance but to hit the gate. 
Man, these gates move too fast. I have no idea. It wasn't my fault, actually. The gate moved really fast. So, <laughs> we have uh, chipped the propeller and we have chipped the aileron as well. Now I gotta go home and glue it and then I'll be able to fly it again. I don't want to just, you know, push it to the flight. I know it will still fly, but uh, with a broken aileron, nah. It's a nice, sweet little bird. Don't want to crash it again. I'm gonna repair the aileron and then get back to the flying once again. And some more FPV on this wing is coming because it is actually fun. Enjoy! The Spirit 600 is a nice, fun project to build. So if you're looking for a mini uh, FPV flying wing, well, the Spirit 600 makes it a good, interesting project for you to buy, build, and fly. And fly FPV as well. Crash and have fun. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.